We begin tonight with a, a scare at Sky Harbor. First at 6, a Tempe man, according to Phoenix police, making a very bad choice today. Not only bringing an assault rifle to a busy airport, but it's what he did next that landed him in handcuffs. Christopher Stein joining us with that tonight. Important to note here, there are victims. Yeah, a mom and her teenage daughter, Katie, and it's all listed out in this court paperwork here I've received, feeling as though they were in danger inside the terminal. And Phoenix police acting fast on this one. The person at the center of this, a 54 year old Tempe resident armed with an AR 15. This is brand new video just into the newsroom. You are seeing this the first time just as I am. It's our understanding. Look at the very top part of your screen. The man just setting down the gun right there as he takes a seat. He's wearing a red shirt, crosses his legs right there. There he is now standing up. The police there questioning him. Those are his hands behind his back. He is now in custody. This unfolding Friday night. This is when he was taken to jail. Now, keep in mind, this isn't the first time he's been to the airport. This is the same man from November of last year. This surveillance video showing him with his son waiting to pick up a passenger. At that time, police officers spoke with him. No crime was committed because he was simply carrying the weapon. The common area there, the airport, which is not illegal. Now we go back to this time, and this is why it's different. The 54 year old showed up again armed with that AR 15 outside of checkpoint B, as you saw in the video there at Terminal 4. According to court paperwork, Friday he bought a cup of coffee, walked to the checkpoint area, and according to officers, at the moment he had the muzzle pointing at a mom and her daughter. Both yeah, stated they were car? in fear for their safety. I went to his home today and a person there said his lawyer told him not to talk to us. They wouldn't even give me the lawyer's name, as a matter of fact. And we have video of his initial court appearance in jail. Listen to the question now. He asks the judge. When you say I can have no weapons, what precisely do you mean by that? Please? It means no weapons. So any that I have in my house presently, I need to, what do I need to do with them? You need to, well, since I posted a bond, you need to turn them over. Usually you give them to the, to the bonding company. Okay, but if I'm posting a cash bond? What I would do, are you represented by an attorney? Yes, I will have my And I attorney. would contact your lawyer and okay. tell him that these are the conditions of your release. Well, the 54 year old was arrested on two counts of disorderly conduct with a weapon, which is a felony bond, by the way, set at $5,000. Now we are not naming this man because the county attorney has yet to officially press charges. Also, we know he does work for St. Joseph's Hospital and Medical Center. They did issue a statement to me saying in part this is they are taking this very seriously, but cannot comment because this is a human resources issue. And Katie, when officers asked why he was at the airport, he told them he went there to buy a cup of coffee and had no other business to do at the airport. Yeah, so we're wondering what the motive is here, why, right. why he's testing the limits if that's what he's doing. I think it's fair to say not many people go to the airport just to purchase a cup of coffee. Yeah, that's Something bad. else happening yep. here and the investigation continues. All right, Christopher, thank you. We know you stay on top mm -hmm. of it.